What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I get many comments with people posting their video links to their YouTube video showing me um, you know, a malfunctioning TV. And they're asking me, hey, can you uh, tell me what's wrong with my TV and you know, perhaps let me know what board I need to order? Well, the best way to troubleshoot your TV, of course, is using a multimeter. That's really gonna pinpoint what TV board to replace or what part to replace. Now, I, yes, I can look at your TV and you know, give you the most common solution for that problem. So this video is really targeted to those people sending me all these video links to their malfunctioning TVs, uh, asking me, hey, what board do I need to replace? Now, it may not be your, that solution for that particular TV, but I can give you uh, an, a general idea what, you know, where to look. Hopefully this video will help you out. If it does, give me a big thumbs up and that helps me out. And if you know anyone that has a malfunctioning TV and then this video may help them, click on the share button below and share this video to them. It helps someone out. Let's go ahead and get started. Now if your TV doesn't turn on and you have no power, no standby light, that could indicate that you have a bad power cord or bad power board or bad main logic board. So. You really, without a multimeter, you can't find out for sure where that issue is coming from. Now right here, we have the most common TVs, which are LED TVs and LCD TVs. Both TVs have an LCD screen, which is controlled by the TCOM board. And uh, both TVs have a backlight circuit, but they're different. The LED TVs have a LED strips, which are controlled by the LED driver board. And LCD TVs have inverter boards that control the CCFL tubes in the backlight circuit, which gives you that glow on the screen. On the upper left, we have an LED TV with the LED driver board in the middle, as you see. And then on the bottom left, you don't see any backlight board because that backlight circuit board is built into the power board, so keep that in mind. And on the right, we have LCD TVs. You see the inverter board on the left. And on the bottom right TV, you see the inverter board in the middle. Now the TCOM board could be located on the top or the bottom of the TV, usually located in the middle top or middle bottom of the TV. They're connected to the LCD screen and controls the LCD screen. Now, if you have a picture that looks like this, uh, ink blots on the screen and there's like a U-shape crack in the middle, then your screen's damaged, very expensive repair. If your TV is broken, I highly suggest selling your TV broken for $50-$100 or sell the TV boards on eBay for around $20 a piece. They really don't sell LCD screens for TVs to consumers, unlike phone LCD screens and laptop LCD screens that you would find normally on Amazon or eBay. If you have a half picture or line, half lines on the screen, then you most likely have a bad TCOM board or bad TCOM connections. If you have all lines, vertical lines, going up and down on your, on your screen, then most likely you have a bad TCOM board or bad TCOM connections going to your LCD screen. If you have no picture but you do have a glow on the screen, then most likely you have, once again, bad TCOM board or bad TCOM connections. And if you have distorted colors on your screen, once again, bad TCOM board usually is the case. Now, if you have no picture, and the screen is really black and there's no brightness on the screen and you turn off the lights in your room and it's really dark, you don't get that glow anymore and you use a flashlight and you do hear audio and only with the flashlight you see a really dark image on the screen then that means your backlight circuit is bad. It could be bad inverter board or bad LED driver board or bad, uh, you know, you could have bad uh, LED strips in your backlight circuit. I made a video, a separate video, how to switch out your LED strips. Now, CCFL tubes tend to last a little bit longer than LED strips for some reason, even though the LED strips should last longer. In my case, I've been swapping out a lot of LED strips. Uh, also, if you have purple dots all over, the, all over your screen, that could indicate that you have bad capacitors in your power supply. You open up uh, the back, take off the back cover, and you take a look. And when you take a look, you'll see bulge capacitors. They're bubbled on top, basically. Or they could be bubbled underneath. And you know they're bubbled underneath if the capacitor is kind of like slanted, crooked. Sometimes you'll have that clicking on and off. If your TV's clicking on and off, then once again, most likely it's bad capacitors in your uh, power supply circuit. 
If you guys are interested in TV boards, check out shopjimmy.com, really great source for TV boards. You can also check out electropartsonline.com, use code Tampa Tech Friend for a 10% discount. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you know anyone that has a malfunctioning TV, click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. And if you want to check out my other TV repair videos, click on this TV repair playlist. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.